Welcome back you five. Today's lesson we're going to look at converting kilograms to grams and grams to kilograms. So try and work out this question here. The phone is 0 0.42 kilograms. Convert this to grams. If you can, you can go on to Mathletics on converting grams to kilograms. Otherwise, watch the rest of the video. Pause the video now. Great, I hope you pause the video and you worked out that 0 0.42 kilograms is 420 grams. If you did, you got that correct and you can go on to Mathletics. So let's look at this. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So we've got four items here. We've got a bag, a paper clip, a cube of sugar, and a computer. Which two items do you think are going to go are appropriate to measure with grams? And which two items do you think are appropriate to measure in kilograms? Pause the video and have a think. Great, I hope you pause the video. Let's see, the paper clip would go in grams. The cube of sugar would also go into grams. The computer and the bag would be measured in kilograms because they are much heavier, bigger items. So let's look at some devices that we can use to measure both kilograms and grams. So here we've got a set of scales, some measuring scales. And here we have a different set of scales which we can stand on. So let's look at this example here. So we just discussed that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So to convert grams to kilograms, you must divide by 1,000. So we have a phone here that weighs 1,700 grams. So to work this out, we want to divide by 1,000. And when we divide by 1,000, we can actually shuffle the numbers backwards three spaces because 1000 we've got three zeros so if we move it back move the numbers back three spaces one two three we can put a decimal point in here so converting the 1700 grams to kilograms is 1.700 kilograms but you don't need to put those zeros in because they're not significant. So you can just say the phone therefore weighs 1.7 kilograms. So let's look at this table here. The table is 4,590 4, grams. So when we want to convert grams to kilograms, we need to divide by 1,000. So when we're dividing by 1,000, we need to shuffle the numbers back three spaces, one, two, three, which means the decimal point can go there. So the answer is 4.90 kilograms. Yep, so it goes there. 4.59 kilograms. Again, you don't need this zero. So try to work this one out by yourself. 
So you've got a sofa, which is 25,800 grams. Work it out in kilograms and pause the video now. So 25,800 grams to kilograms. So you must have known to divide by 1,000. So let's shuffle the numbers back three spaces because we're talking about 1,000. One, two, three, and put the decimal point there. So the answer is 25.8 kilograms. So 25,800 grams is 25.8 kilograms. So now let's go the other way. So if we know that 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, convert kilograms to grams, you must multiply it by 1,000. So we've got 2.5 kilograms. We want to multiply that by 1,000. So 2.5 times 1,000, we can move the numbers forward, three spaces, there's one, two, three, so we can add zeros here, in those blank spaces, which means the answer is 2,500 grams. And we can double check that because we know one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And we've got two kilograms. So we must know that there's at least 2,000. Because we know one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So it looks like that's correct. Let's look at this one here. So we've got 0 0.5 kilograms of salami. We're going to times by 1,000 to get to how many grams. So when we times by 1,000, we're going to move the numbers forward. One, two, three spaces, which is going to be 500, 500 grams. And we also know that um, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, so 0 0.5 kilograms is obviously half of a kilogram, and we know that 1,000, half of 1,000 grams must be 500 grams, so they're both halves, so therefore that answer is correct. So try this one by yourself, pause the video now, and try and convert 3.75 kilograms of cheese into grams. Great, I hope you pause the video. So 3.75 kilograms. We know we're going to grams, so we're timesing by a thousand. So let's move the numbers forward three spaces because we're timesing by a thousand. One, two, three. So we can add a zero there. So the answer must be 3,750 grams. So if you got that answer, mark that correct. 
So try this one by yourself, 5.2 kilograms, this bag weighs, convert it to grams. Pause the video now. Great, I hope you pause the video. So 5.2, we're timesing by a thousand. So let's move this three spaces. So all the numbers are moving forward. And then add the two zeros in that space. So if you got 5,200 grams, then you can mark that one correct. So now you're finished. Um, you can go on to the Mathletics task, grams and kilograms, and try and work out that task.